People touched by the life of Gene Klein. More than 300 came to Temple Emanuel Beverly Hills this afternoon to honor the 69 years of a man few here will ever forget. The incredible successes he had in such varied fields. He had about six, six different careers and uh, he was a remarkable man. Klein's circle of influence was obvious at his memorial, from Hollywood greats like Kirk Douglas and Janet Leigh, to football legends O.J. Simpson and Rosie Greer, to horse trainer D. Wayne Lucas. We had a lot of great moments, especially in the horse racing business with the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness and the Breeders' Cup wins and so forth. But uh, I think that the thing I'll remember is maybe just the mornings out at the farm together and uh, and the evenings after a big win where we'd all go to dinner and uh, more or less relive it. Those are the things I think I'll stay the longest. But perhaps the people with the most vivid memories are the ones who knew Gene Klein from the football field, his San Diego Chargers. When uh, I was lying in the hospital and they didn't know if I was going to survive and my father had just been in to visit me and on his way out ran into Mr. Klein and um, kind of broke down and Mr. Klein was there to um, support him and, and uh, offer encouragement. You always knew where you stood with Gene and, and uh, you know he was always up front and honest with you. I'll never forget uh, ever having to deal with him across the, the table because it was always difficult and, and always a challenge but uh, uh, once it was done it was done and, and we're back to work. Man is like vanity. Inside the temple Klein's family wept as Rabbi Steve Robbins offered prayer. After the rabbi, some of Gene Klein's family, including three of his grandchildren, took a moment to remember and honor their grandfather. Rabbi Robin said the biggest disappointment in all this was that Gene Klein himself couldn't be here to hear the praise. Bob Hanson, News 8, Beverly Hills.